So recently in a video I did about the Stronghold Crusader invisible or invincible Lord bug, I used this vignette effect to create sort of a slow replay that was focused on the Lord. So it sort of draws in the viewer's attention. Uh, as you can see right here, it zooms in and it just it shows you where the Lord disappeared. Now, while Adobe Premiere Elements has a special effect to add a vignette to your um, video, Adobe Premiere Pro does not. So you have to find an alternative. And how I went about doing this was I went into the effects tab right here in the lower left corner and I typed in circle. And it should bring up a circle effect under video effects. And you can just drag that onto the clip that you want to add a vignette, or in this case, a circle to. We're going to, it's going to become a vignette later. So right now we have the basic circle. There you can see it, but it's not really what we want. So you're going to have to go over here into the effect controls and we can adjust the circle. I hear you can see the circle effect is with the drop down um, adjustments. These are all properties that belong to this uh, circle effect. So what we're going to need to do first is change the blending mode to darken. It got rid of it now, but we're going to change that back. Change the color to black. You can see there is a black circle right in the middle of our screen, our preview, and then click invert circle. And now that has uh, swapped that around. So now the center of the screen is actually the visible part and we have a pretty much a black mask covering the rest of it, but that is too much. So what we need to do is go into the feather menu and it's also too rigid and we can adjust how feathered the look is from here. So maybe like that. And then we can adjust the radius right here. We need to make the radius bigger. So now we can actually see more of the screen and maybe want to add some more feathering to the edges just so it isn't quite so circular. So that pretty much does it. As you can see now, the rest of this clip is going to be, it's gonna have a vignette look to it. And that's essentially how I got this effect here. This, I did add a zoom effect, but that is uh, pretty basic. And you can find plenty of tutorials for that. So this is my tutorial for how to create a vignette effect in Adobe Premiere Pro 2015. It might change in the future, but that is the date and the program that I used for this one. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.